And here we have the three batteries that I've been working with. This is the stock 1800 milliamp uh, sub-C nickel metal hydride batteries that came with my truck. Added on a Dean's connector. <laughs> I've been using my hot glue gun. That's ah, funny. Um, this is the battery pack that I made that I have a video on. Uh, the, from rescued laptop um, batteries. These are Sanyo UR18650Ys. Put a Dean's connector on there, have them wrapped in protective coating, shrink wrap, and hot glued together just to check them out, see if I can make them waterproof. These batteries, you don't have to worry. Uh, these can go into the water. They're not as dangerous as lipos uh, with all the restrictions of getting them wet and overcharging and overheating. And speaking of overheating, it's kind of on a lark. Oh, well, let me just start off with this pack. This is my AT2 um, LG's 18650s. Uh, each battery is a 35 amp burst, 20 continuous in series. They're a 7.4 pack with 70 amp burst and 40 amps continuous. And just the two little batteries here, I noticed they were getting hot. So on a lark, I had from my laptop this cooling pin, or from a broken laptop. So I stuck that on there just to see what would happen. And that seemed to help. And then I uh, went ahead and put this other piece on there from the laptop. To help draw even more heat off because it has a, a copper core right there and then there's a copper piece running through the middle and let me tell you folks this uh, really keeps my battery cool now another thing that I could do to help cool down this battery is to add two more on here and make it a, a two cell 7.4 um, with two pack with, with two cells in parallel uh, it would also double my milliamps per hour from 2500, which I've been charging up to 2400 uh, successfully, repeatedly. It would bring that up to 5000 milliamp hour battery. And so I think that's what I'm going to do. These seem to be good batteries for, uh, for RCs. But... Laptop batteries, the model that I named, plus they're old, these overheat and they are losing their capacitance. What I can do is cycle them, put the capacitance memory back in them, but I don't think these are going to be any good for RC cars and trucks. Anything that's pulling a heavy load from them. But I can break this pack down and turn them into battery packs for LED lights or uh, anything that isn't going to be pulling high drain off them. So that's part of my learning experience. Like I said, this battery seems to be just fine. <laughs> I've got a video of it running this truck around. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, here's something I've been working on. Just to kind of get me by. It's uh, what it looks like. It's cardboard. Can you guess what it is? About the size of a cell phone. Let me put this thing down here for I don't a second. Know if this is or not, but you know, I made myself a camera stand <laughs> out of cardboard and hot glue. Woohoo! I am going to be getting a better camera this month with my orders of stuff. I want to show you something else I've been working on. I, I got LED lights for my truck. Um, I made a video on that too and installed them. Here is the battery pack that I made that lights them up for, oh, I ran the test. There's 110 hours straight. But I didn't like the way that the lights looked, just sticking out like that. I wanted more of a realistic look. And I know that this isn't a realistic body or what they call scale. But um, 
I wanted to see if I could make my own light cans, and the light cans are the places inside the model where the LEDs go into that actually have a reflective surface and puts them behind the, the surface of the body. So I made my own, and these are just my first attempt. Uh, they're a little off, but as you can see, I got a, a clear lens cover over it. And I made my own light can. And it's definitely too deep. I need to have it a little bit more forward. And uh, I think I'm only going to end up putting in one light. And then using the other light to go up front as like a fog light or something. So we'll see how that turns out. And uh, I'll be getting... Whoa. I'm still going? All right. I'll be getting some more stuff in uh, beginning of next month so I can do some more projects. I plan on using my Exceed there to uh, um, build a scale replica RC out of a um, Axial S10 power wagon rolling chassis that I found pretty cheap on the internet. So I'm going to take all those parts and these parts and put them together and make a new RC. And I'm also going to be able to videotape that a little bit better whenever I get the new camera. Uh, so, it's supposed to be a quick update, but here we are. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you check out my channel, check out rcsparks.com, join the forums, check out uh, Medic on his, uh, his channel, it's uh, RC Sparks on YouTube. And let's see what Walter's doing. What are you doing, Walter? Are you a good dog? That zoomed in. That zoomed out. Oh, there we go. Hey, puppy. Oh, my good dog. Give me five. Oh, that's a good boy. All right, tell everybody bye. Bye. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I love you, dog. All right, everybody, have a good day.